made it to Nashville, made it to Opryland, checked in, fixing it up. Get settled in and go uh, we'll get our passes and all that stuff. But so far, so good. Ain't it? This pinks me. There's a Ram, brand new Ram, half ton pickup. With a uh, logo on the side that says, Marcio, the official camo of the National Wild Turkey Federation. So that about sums it up. Well, it's the first night at the NWTF convention. We're going to the welcome party. <clears throat> gonna be a special one tonight. I think Tox is getting up. We're gonna talk about the partnership between Mossy Oak and the National Wild Turkey Federation uh, being the official pattern. So uh, I got a whole bunch of whole bunch of my crew in tow first night. Welcome party at the NWTF. I'm gonna try to shoot a little video while we're in there. I'm very proud to be the first one to announce that Mossy Oak is now the official camo of the NWTF. For Mossy Oak as a brand, this is why we exist. And if we can't put our full shoulder behind our number one first love in the world of hunting and conservation, the wild turkey and this organization, then we hadn't got any business even being in business. So it is literally that important to us. Well, we're gonna leave the welcome party. It was all good. Got to hear Toxie and George Thornton talk about the Moss Hill deal. And tomorrow, really, the show starts and uh, we'll get some time on the floor. But uh, tonight, all the knuckleheads are tired and we're slipping out of here. So, peace out. Well, the show's officially opening to the public in about 15 minutes. Made it to the booth. The booth looks awesome. If you stay at the Moss Hill booth long enough, you'll meet a celebrity. Toxie's here. He was at the, wait a minute, he was at breakfast. I thought you said we were going to meet a celebrity. <laughs> hey, tell me what your feelings were last night. I videoed the whole talk. Tell me, tell me what that was like last night. Just a quick overview. Well, just, you know, I'm not much on giving speeches. I told him I'd talk for a minute, but uh, it was, uh, I don't know what the word's for real. It was a, it was a pretty cool moment because turkeys have been our life forever and to be able to get up there and do that was, yeah. uh, well, it was from the heart. I came in yesterday, I was <clears throat> real busy. I finally made it to the booth and I walked in and was, the first two people I saw was Toxie and Will Primo sitting on the couch reminiscing. It's just nothing like this show. It is. I feel old and I feel young all at the same time. All right, well, we got business to do, but there's a, there's a recap from T. Hayes. We about to do some retail. I'm catching all these people for the retail starts right here. Lanny, Lanny Wallace, he's in charge of so much stuff, I, can't, I ain't got time, but Lanny, tell me what's going on with the kennels right now. Uh, well, the dogs are probably getting fed right now, so that's a good thing, but uh, we have started training. We got a couple of uh, new litters on the way that'll be here this spring, so excited about that. I don't know how many NWTF shows we've been to together, but why is this one so much fun? You know, it's what we do and it's who we are. That's, a, that's the only way I know to say it. We're all turkey hunters at the core, and you see old friends every year. It's just like homecoming. It's like trying. It's like calling up that old gobbler year after year after year. And NWTF is an amazing organization. It's so easy to support everything they do. They make they make working with them fun. And we've been doing that for almost 30 years now. The first NWTF show I worked with Bill, we were selling t-shirts out of cardboard boxes <laughs> on two tables, so we've come a long way. A long way. I know we're at the turkey show, but I keep running into experts. Dudley Phelps. Hey, guys. He, he's, a, he's a turkey thug big time, but I'm going to ask him something about it. Now, this middle of February, is this not the prime time to be planting trees? And it is. Especially in the south. In the north, it may be too cold. I mean, the ground may be frozen solid. But in the south, deer season's over, the ground's warming up a little bit, and the roots can grow until springtime. See, that's one thing about the turkey thing. You're kind of getting ready for turkey season, but true guys that take care of the habitat and all that, now's the time to be doing things. Right. This is Philip Mayot. Mayot. And he just won the mentor, mentor of the year. The NWTF gives away one of those. What'd that mean to you to be mentor of the year? It's uh, honestly because it's overwhelming. I, I, it's just something I do and be blessed with the award and, and be the first recipient. Um, it, 
it's, it's humbling beyond belief. He's also on our pro staff, which tells you that uh, there's character all up and down the thing, and the NWT is full of it, and we were so proud to get him down here to talk about that, because, you know, you see people on TV and all that, but let me tell you something right there, that's where the rubber meets the road, but you don't get that anymore unless you got a heart of gold. Cuz is tied up, kind of one of his busiest things ever, events of the year, and so uh, I'm outside of the Ryman Exhibit Hall, and I'm fixing to go check out some of the vendors and see what's going on. Turkey Thug sighting, Keith Kelly, Bubba, and Paul Butsky. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm having a YouTube. Cuz is in meeting, so he handed me a selfie uh -oh. stick. He said, oh take care of business. We're just so. thugging it You're over. doing the dirty work. <laughs> I'm so out of my element. Trouble. There's so much trouble. Oh, we are trouble. We are trouble. I'm at the Mossy Oak Retail Store booth with Chris Davis. I'm used to seeing him in town at the store, but now he's, they're mobile. They've got a huge setup. So what are people buying? What's the hot item? The hottest item this year is going to be our cotton mill and TV green leaf bags. It's going to be reintroduced to in the cotton mill shirt. And these are the green leaf pants in the cotton mill pants. Classic. I know a lot of people are going to be happy to see that pattern come back. They are extremely excited about the pattern. Uh, it's been one of our top sellers during the spring tuck season for last year, 2015, and it's going very well for 2016 so far. One of the cool things about the NWTF uh, convention is that all the exhibits are open to the public. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. And today is Friday, and I just had a guy run and duck from the camera because he's like, hey, I'm supposed to be at work. <laughs> and so we're going to have to make sure to edit that guy out. 